What is up, everybody? HVAC Uncensored Nation. Um, back from HR, back to work. Um, I went in late today, had to play catch up on some sleep. I'm heading home now. But uh, wow, uh, another year, another AHR gone. It uh, it comes it comes fast and it, and it happens so quick. But all I can say is. It's so hard for me to even put the whole experience into one video. It, it really is. Um, it, it gets better and better every year. It was absolute amazing experience. Um, the fact that I was even nominated for podcast of the year and then won podcast of the year is truly amazing. I am so grateful to every to people who listen to me, viewers and listeners for nominating me. For all of my friends who are fellow influencers, podcasters, etc., um, who voted for me for me to get that award, I thank you guys so much. I really, really do. It means the world to me um, because there's so many good shows out that that award could 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 go to any of us, any of them, and nobody would say a word because they're all deserving. So the fact that I got chosen uh, is pretty amazing, and I'm very, very grateful. So thank you to. Ben Poole from HVAC Tactical for putting on the award show. I know that thing takes a shit ton of work uh, and it's it was awesome. It was even, last year was awesome and this year was even better. Um, you know, Mr. Lance uh, from Solder Weld, you know, for his part in that, you know, setting it up, uh, all the sponsors who took part in it, um, you know, the HVAC jerks, the ones who they won it in 2022 and they presented the award to me and they're awesome guys. And, um, and also I was able to share that moment with some of my good friends, you know, uh, like, you know, Terrence Blissett and his lovely wife, Julie, Joshua Crouch. So there, that's the service business mastery podcast. Um, amazing experience. Then AHR to be able to meet so many people and keep building those bonds and those relationships with other influencers and running into people that come up like, Hey Gil, man, I listen to your podcast and sit there and talk to them. Uh, it's, it's amazing. And that's why I do what I do. It, that's the payoff. And, um, it's, yeah, it, it was just, it was amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, you know, I get to hang out with my buddy, uh, Scott HVAC rookie. He does so much for me throughout the year. And uh, me and him always hang out at AHR. So I always try to show my appreciation to him. And um, I, I have to say this, to show my appreciation to Chir uh, Tersh and Julie Blissett, as well as Joshua Crouch. Um, we ended up staying in their penthouse um, just to stay together. But really, they're the ones who book that. And um, they are incredible hosts. They are the sweetest people ever. I literally love them to death. I'm so happy that I was able to uh, form a friendship with them. Me and Tersh hit it off from day one. Um, the guy is just, he sets a standard and uh, he literally, how, how he conducts himself is just impressive. And um, they'll do anything for you. Literally the first day that I started podcasting, when I went to HR, had no idea what the fuck I was doing. And Tersh was literally there to help guide me and help mentor me. And I am forever grateful for that, brother. I appreciate you more than I could put into words. So, um, and the other thing is I want everybody to know all these people that you see on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, um, and, and it's going to be so hard for me to sit there and, and, and mention all of their names. They know who they are. When you get to meet these people and start to know them personally, they are good fucking people. Like, the, it, it's not a surprise that they have a following, that people follow them, because they are just good dudes and good women. Like, when you meet them, it's like they're exactly who they are in video. Nothing changes. And they're just awesome, solid people. And it's just, it gives you hope for our industry. That there is a bunch of fucking rock solid, hard working, blue collar people out there doing things right. And it's so many, I can't even sit here and list them all. Uh, some, I, I, I'm mad that I wasn't able, I forgot to take pictures with some, even though I hung out with them. But it's, uh, yeah, it was fucking amazing. I had such a good time. I love hanging out with these people. And um, 
Also, thank you to Nicole Bush from the AHR Expo. She's the press coordinator, uh, press director. I forget her title, but she's the boss lady when it comes to the podcast pavilions. And she rolls out the red carpet for influencers and podcasters. No expo does it like she does it, hands down. And and any any other podcaster influencer will say the same thing. Nobody does for us what she does. And uh, she set a standard, and that's why AHR is the best, and it keeps getting better every single year. Uh, once again, as soon as it's done, I cannot wait for, you know, next year in Chicago. But, uh, yeah, I got some different content, talking to some people. I'm going to try to release some stuff here, get back to podcasting. I'm super, super excited and um, going to enjoy this award, and I can't wait to, uh, for next year. And um, I thank you to all, you know, the just... Uh, if you're not an influencer or like a close friend and you are like a supporter of the podcast, uh, thank you for all the ones who came up to me. Uh, one situation, some of you guys know that I do things about addiction and mental health. Well, at one of the shows, I saw a guy and a girl that were sitting there watching the show, but they, they never came up and said something. And finally, uh, the, the wife came up to me and she said, Hey Gil, I love your show. Can I give you a hug? And I was like, yeah, of course. And then she hugged me and she said, my husband listens to you all the time and he had an addiction problem. And after listening to your podcast was enough for him to go get help. And he's been clean for six months. The guy walked up to me with tears in his eyes, thanking me. And it almost put tears in my eyes. That's the fucking payoff right there. That right there is why I do what the fuck I do. No money in the world could replace the feeling that I got from knowing that I helped that guy. His wife's happy and they're doing good. So it, it, it's amazing that, you know, a little, a guy with a podcast talking about HVAC can change somebody's life. A person that does videos talking about, you know, showing their work and the quality of work can really motivate and change somebody's life. So to all you other influencers and podcasters out there, like keep doing what you're doing. Let's keep doing this shit together. Uh, let's keep raising the bar for each other one step at a time uh, because it really is changing people's lives for the better. And um, I am just, I'm extremely grateful to be a part of it. So yeah, uh, this is an eight minute long video. So I'm gonna let this go. Um, I got a bunch of things I gotta get out and post, but I've gotta go spend some time with the family and my daughters, or I'm gonna be homeless. <laughs> um, I got home late last night uh, in from Atlanta. So, and I had to go to work today to handle some things. So I'm gonna go spend some family, uh, family time tonight. And then uh, probably by this weekend, let's get back to work, get some podcasts going. I got tons of guests lined up amazing shows coming in 2023 and uh, i can't wait to get back to work so i love all you guys stay safe out there and i'll talk with you mofos later peace